In one moment every drop of blood in my body was brought to a stop. There, as if it had that moment sprung out of the earth, stood the figure of a solitary woman, dressed from head to foot in white. These chilling words open the timeless mystery novel, The Woman in White, by Wilkie Collins. A tale of suspense, intrigue, and deception that has captivated readers for generations. Now, unravel the mystery with me as we delve deeper into the world of The Woman in White. The tale begins with an eerie encounter of a drawing master, Walter Hartwright, with a mysterious woman dressed in white. This woman, who appears out of nowhere in the dead of night, is our titular character. As ethereal and enigmatic as she is, she is also the pivot around which our story revolves. Walter Hartwright, a humble drawing master, is a man of character and integrity. His life takes a dramatic turn when he stumbles upon this spectral woman. She is distressed, lost, and most intriguingly, harbors a secret that sets the tone for the rest of our narrative. The mysterious woman in white is later revealed to be Anne Catherick. Her life, shrouded in mystery, holds a secret that is deeply intertwined with the fate of our other characters. Her fleeting encounter with Walter plants a seed of curiosity that grows into a tree of mystery, branching out into the lives of all those around him. The story then transports us to Limeridge House, a place that is as quaint as it is filled with intrigue. Here we meet the fair and gentle Laura Fairley and her half-sister, the sharp-witted and strong-hearted Marion Halcombe. These two women, as different as day and night, hold a special place in Walter's heart and play a pivotal role in the unfolding drama. The seemingly peaceful atmosphere of Limeridge House is disrupted with the arrival of Sir Percival Glyde, a man of questionable character and suspicious motives. His marriage to Laura, a union that should have been one of love and companionship, feels more like a calculated move with ulterior motives. The intrigue surrounding Sir Percival Glyde is a significant part of our story. As we delve deeper, we find that Sir Percival Glyde is not just a man of mystery, but also a man of many secrets. His past, murky and tainted, holds a shocking secret about Anne Catherick, the woman in white. This secret, like a ticking time bomb, threatens to shatter the lives of everyone involved. The characters' lives become more entangled as the plot unfolds. The mystery woman's secret, the intrigue surrounding Sir Percival Glyde, and the happenings at Limeridge House all form a complex web of mystery and suspense. Every revelation is a twist, every secret a turn, leading us deeper into the labyrinth of the plot. Each character, from the humble Walter Hartwright to the enigmatic woman in white, the gentle Laura Fairley to the cunning Sir Percival Glyde, adds a unique flavor to our story. They are not just characters in a book, but real people with dreams, desires, and fears. They are the lifeblood of our narrative, the heartbeat of our tale. The tale of the woman in white is a journey into the heart of mystery and suspense. It's not just a story, but a labyrinth of secrets and revelations of intrigue and suspense. As we navigate through this labyrinth, we are left wondering, questioning, and yearning for more. As the plot thickens, the mysteries only deepen. In this labyrinth of deception and secrets, every character has a role to play. Wilkie Collins masterfully designs a web of intrigue that keeps us guessing at every turn. Let's delve into the heart of the mystery, where Collins begins to unravel the secrets one by one, and each character's role in this elaborate puzzle becomes clearer. Our protagonist, Walter Hartwright, is not just a mere spectator in this tale. His deepening involvement with the Fairley family, along with his unwavering determination, are the driving forces behind the unraveling of the secrets. His pursuit for truth despite the looming dangers, propels the plot forward, adding tension and excitement. Then we have the enigmatic woman in white, Anne Catherick. Her identity is a mystery that forms the backbone of the narrative. As the story unfolds, we learn about her connection with Laura Fairley. The shocking revelation that they are half-sisters, born of the same father but different mothers, adds a new dimension to the plot. This twist is a testament to Collins's genius, skillfully introducing elements of surprise that keep us hooked. Laura Fairley, the damsel in distress, is far from a passive character. Her fate is intertwined with Anne's, and their resemblance is a pivotal plot point. Laura's vulnerability and innocence are contrasted with Anne's strength and resilience, creating a dichotomy that is both intriguing and compelling. The cunning and manipulative Sir Percival Glyde and Count Fosco are the villains in this tale. Their sinister motives and actions add layers of suspense, making the plot more complex and riveting. Glyde's desperate attempts to maintain his secret, and Fosco's mysterious past and hidden agenda, build up the tension, making the unraveling of the mystery even more satisfying. 
Marion Halcombe, Laura's half-sister and a strong, intelligent woman, is a beacon of hope in this tale of deceit. Her unwavering loyalty and determination to uncover the truth play a crucial role in the plot progression. Despite the odds stacked against her, Marion's courage and resourcefulness shine through, making her an unforgettable character. In the midst of all these characters and their intertwined fates, the identity of the woman in white and her connection to Laura Fairley is the crux of the story. The revelation of this secret is a pivotal moment, sending shockwaves through the narrative and changing the course of the story. Collins masterfully crafts each twist and turn, making sure the reader is kept on their toes. With every revelation, the plot thickens, the suspense heightens, and the stakes get higher. The intricate web of secrets and deceptions unravels slowly, keeping us hooked till the very end. Just when you think you have figured it out, the plot takes another unexpected turn. In the world of The Woman in White, nothing is as it seems. As we delve into the climax of this riveting narrative, the fog of mystery begins to lift. The secrets that were once shrouded in shadows now stand starkly in the light. The true identity of the woman in white, Anne Catherick, is revealed, and the intricate web of deceit woven by the villainous Sir Percival Glyde and Count Fosco is exposed. The climax is a tumultuous whirlwind of revelations that leaves us breathless yet eager for more. The confrontation between our protagonists and the antagonists is a battle of wits and wills, a testament to Collins's masterful storytelling. The tension mounts as each secret is unveiled. From Sir Percival's illegitimate birth to the shocking revelation of Anne's institutionalization, each revelation is a piece of the puzzle, bringing us closer to the full picture. And then, we arrive at the denouement, the final act in this grand play of deception and truth. Here, Collins deftly ties up all loose ends, providing a satisfying conclusion to the story. The fate of the characters unfolds in a manner that is both surprising and inevitable. Sir Percival meets a fiery end, a poetic justice for his sins. Count Fosco, the master manipulator, falls victim to his own machinations, meeting his demise at the hands of a secret society he once betrayed. Yet, it is not all doom and gloom. Our protagonists, Walter Hartwright and Laura Fairley, find their happy ending, united in love and blessed with a child. Marion Halcombe, the unsung heroine, continues to live life on her own terms, embodying the spirit of independence and resilience. In the end, the truth prevails, but not without a cost. The cost is the trials and tribulations our characters endure, their struggle against the oppressive forces of society. But it is through this struggle, through this cost, that they find their strength, their courage, and ultimately, their redemption. The woman in white, thus, reminds us of the power of truth and the enduring spirit of humanity. More than a century later, the woman in white continues to captivate readers worldwide. This suspenseful masterpiece, penned by Wilkie Collins, has left an indelible mark on the mystery genre. It's like a ripple in the literary pond, its influence reaching far beyond its initial splash. This novel, with its intricate plot and compelling characters, introduced two enduring archetypes to popular literature, the femme fatale and the damsel in distress. These characters, with their complex motivations and enthralling narratives, have been adopted and adapted by countless authors since, breathing life into the pages of myriad mysteries. It's a testament to Collins's genius that these archetypes remain relevant and intriguing even today. The timeless appeal of The Woman in White lies not just in its suspenseful plot or its memorable characters, but also in the human emotions it explores. Fear, love, deceit, bravery, it's a cauldron of feelings that continues to simmer, even over a hundred years after its creation. Moreover, this novel has influenced modern mystery and suspense novels in profound ways. Its innovative narrative style, its emphasis on psychological depth, and its exploration of societal norms have all become hallmarks of the genre. Today's mystery novels owe a debt of gratitude to this pioneering work, for it laid the foundation upon which they stand. In the end, The Woman in White is not just a mystery novel, but a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Mm -hmm.